Hi, my name is Jordan and this is my room. So, my name is Jordan and this is my YouTube channel and basically, like every other influencer, I clean my room every single day, every single vlog, every single minute, and I try to be organized and productive. But that doesn't work out because I'm Jordan and that's not how I function. I have a wardrobe malfunction every single day and I have over 20 million clothes in my closet, in my dresser, under my bed. They're everywhere, everywhere. And I complain about me wanting new clothes, but I can't even get rid of clothes. I can't keep my own clothes because I feel like one day I'm going to need them even though they don't fit. Today I'm forcing myself. Instagram location. Today I'm forcing myself to clean out my closet and I'm super excited because it's summer and I need to get going. I already have a pile of stuff to get rid of, but I have a whole closet and a whole dresser. So, therefore, we're going to be cleaning out my closet slash dresser together. Yay! So, if you're new here, please subscribe and join the family of Trini Vlogs. <laughs> I don't want to do this. So, what we're going to do is just Take out everything. We're just gonna take out everything. We're just gonna go for it. So here's what I'm thinking. So I just took down everything and put it on the ground so like there's everything that's under me. But over here we have the shoe shelf and then we have that white drawer thing and that white drawer thing held all my accessories but I want to keep it. Even though I don't need it, I want to keep it because it's my granny's and she passed away and I feel like I, like I have so much of her stuff. Like I have her baby doll, like I have a lot of stuff but I want to keep it because I feel like I can use it. So we're going to make it useful in some sort of way instead of me having everything right here. I want my closet to feel big and clean and spacey and organized. So I want to hang stuff on this, this part this time and on this part and see what we can put on this side. Maybe just dresses on this side, like just because they're longer. But I want to be able to use this stuff. That is what we're going to try to do. And then I'm going to pick one of these shoe things to keep and which one to get rid of because I have two. I'm just trying to organize everything. So I'm going to get rid of one of these shoe shelves and figure out what to do up here. And maybe like get some stuff and put it under my bed and put it in the attic or something because this is all junk. So I really just need to get through stuff and actually get rid of stuff and quit gatekeeping because like I can't do this any longer. Like this for example, I feel like I'm going to use and camp's coming up. So I'm going to keep it just because camp is coming up. But I feel like I never use it and it's just a huge thing. So it's going to go under my bed for example like crap that I don't use until like X amount of days like 4th of July and stuff can just go under my bed just go in and organize it under my bed or I can put it in a bin up here but like it's just crap and this is your sign to get rid of crap Thank you. 
So proud girl moment. I just got rid of, I counted 30 pieces of clothing so far out of the stacks that I had of my hang up shirt and a few dresses are in there. I have a few dresses I want to think about because I know in me, I'm like, I don't know Jordan, do you like it? You've never worn it. Like, are you going to style it now that you're changing your style type of situation? So I have a pile for me to try on, a pile for me to go in the get rid of pile and the get rid of pile is going to go to jocelyn and um, Brittany tatum's mom because both of them want to go through my clothes and see if they want anything and if they don't want any of that then um i'm gonna ask Brittany and then like i'll just see who needs clothes who wants clothes because a lot of people just want my style but basically i just took off everything i have a bajillion hangers right now like i have all of these hangers down here it's quite a lot but I'm trying to debate on whether or not I should hang up my t-shirts or if I should just fold them because I did hang up my t-shirts last time. Um, but I don't know which one's more which because I hate digging through my stuff to look for a t-shirt. So I think I'm going to move my pants to my closet put my t-shirts in the drawers and fold them like they do on tiktok but i don't have a lot of pants and that's just like taking up like three pairs of jeans to take up one drawer you know does that make sense because the way i fold them and the way i try to fold them they won't work so basically i think i'm going to switch all that out now i'm just going to go through my dresser and then after that i'm going to go through the floor which is the worst part of this all this is great <laughs> costume to be exact that is the size 3t and a size large for women um and you don't even have a kid but like come on guys like this is how bad my closet is getting and i'm finally making piles of clothes to get rid of i'm so thankful so basically i just went through all the clothes on the ground well like the t-shirts and stuff that were like in the bins now i have more stuff but some of it's dirty clothes but i'm still gonna go through it and then i'm also gonna wash all my clothes and then we'll start hanging up stuff and organizing and doing all of the other. Someone please send help. I was obsessed with unicorns. Like, what in the absolute freaking heck? It, it's like, smells so good because it's leather, but like... Basically what you've seen so far is me put my end up putting my dresses on this side and then my shirts on this side and I've actually tried to color coordinate them. So yeah. But basically long dresses since it's a short like hanger thing, I like flipped them and threw the hanger. So they're like kind of folded kind of. But actually I just put these in here to see what they would look like putting like sweatshirts in here. And I think this is how I want to do it. So I'm gonna take these out and redo it. But I'm actually gonna keep that uh one shoe shelf up there and I'm gonna put my shoes on that and keep this one down here because I feel like I only wear like a certain pair of shoes and now that I'm going to be home a lot or it's summer like I only use like sandals and stuff so I feel like I'll keep the main ones down here and then the ones that need to go up there like up there like winter stuff or like any other stuff that I don't normally wear so that will be my shoe rack up there so instead of me getting rid of them I'm gonna actually keep this shoe rack and this is gonna be a sweatshirt rack so I'm gonna roll up all my sweatshirts and stick them in this and color coordinate them through there and my sweaters and put them like over here I could roll up my hoodies too but they're really bulky with the hoods added to them so instead I'm just gonna like add the sweatshirt to this section so that's what i'm going to do right now is roll up all my sweatshirts and put them on this shoe thing and color coordinate them Uh. 
I've never been happy in my life. Look how big my giveaway pile is, and there's a trash bag under there. Like, guys, come on now. So basically, I'm just about done. Like, my closet is like so organized right now. Like, golden blogs, what have gotten into you? But basically, all these are stuff for my camp that I'm going to on Wednesday. So I'm gonna go ahead and start washing my clothes, and then I'm just gonna put up the rest of the stuff off camera. It's getting late. It is like almost nine o'clock. So I'm gonna get to doing laundry, and then we'll come back and update y'all. Okay guys, I am back. I am better than ever. And something I have learned throughout my process of being a teenager is that everything has a home. So if you're getting prepared to buy something, you need to know basically that it's going to need to have a home in your place. It can't just be random junk. Like, I don't stay on buying junk because that's like literally used to be me until I put myself on a budget and I like started to be careful about what I bought and how I bought it. And there can be some fun stuff that you can have. Like I bought the bubble machine for like $28. But like that's like something fun to have for summer. Something to do with the kids. It makes Axel so happy. It's fun to use. Like it's it's something fun. Basically what I'm saying is that every piece of clothing has a home. Everything that's in this closet had a home. But it did not. It wasn't put where it was. So I feel like my last closet process has been like that. But they weren't color coordinated. They weren't like put together in different sections. They were just all together. Wherever I put them they were just hung up type stuff. I really do want to influence on it. Do this method everything has a home like everything needs to have a section a little spot and if you don't wear it if you haven't worn it in the past two months get rid of it because I have over a hundred clothes over there that I'm fixing to put on Facebook market that I'm fixing to give to Brittany and Jocelyn that I'm literally fixing to give to people that need those clothes or want those clothes it's over a hundred clothes guys like that's literally insane is what that is I literally haven't worn half that stuff in a year if anything so me thinking about what I've worn in two months like if y'all do that like you'll get rid of everything and I'm not even a gatekeep because you're like oh I can use this blah 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 no you can't but no you won't like you will find something else to wear like you won't use this on July 4th like every year like get you're gonna be done with that outfit every year I'm the same outfit every year like just get rid of it and do something new you know so there's my lecture everything has a home so I've made everything have a home I've gotten rid of over a hundred clothes and I'm very proud of that and I don't know about y'all but it's making my heart really happy so this section right here has all my shirts and they're like color coordinated so we have like dark colors I didn't know what to do with this Texas Ranger shirt so I put it in the back but basically all of these are like t-shirts that like are dressy kind of you know like just some cute t-shirt and then I have all my tank tops I ended up hanging them up instead of putting them in the bins because this is what it looks like if you put them in bins they get wrinkled so I ended up hanging up all my tank tops a lot of these if you're wondering are from Sheen this is like a pack I got from Sheen for like $12 or something like that but those are there and then I have these vests I have two of my tote bags right here just the main ones that I use throughout the summer like this is like a flower one and this is the one for my Ellen box is just like a giving summer vibe I put my laundry basket down here in the middle this right here is the doll that my granny gave me and I didn't really put I put her at first up in like the top of my closet but I feel like it's a very sentimental like expensive thing so I ended up setting her right down there and I know it's creepy but it's like something sentimental these drawers right here have like all my accessories and stuff in it so like there's like headbands in there and then this shelf I ended up keeping and I ended up rolling up all my sweatshirts I have and then that big blanket jacket down there and then these are like my main shoes like I wear these shoes throughout the summer like church and then like main shoes this right here is supposed to be like a scarf rack thing but I ended up using it for like leggings and stuff so I put all my flare leggings and my glare leggings right here I have this purse I have never used this purse really but this is a very sentimental purse so I kept this purse this is a hat that I got in my Easter basket from Tatum I have yet to wear it but I feel like I'm gonna wear it in the summer when I go tan and stuff this side has all my dresses so here are my dresses they're color coordinated too I was very skeptical of how how long my dresses were and how to hang them but I ended up putting them right here and with my longer dresses and my rompers I ended up folding them throughout the hanger so now they're like halfway folded so that's just what my dresses look like and then these two bins have pants in them I ended up putting shirts in my dresser and pants in bins up here you know we have our basic everyday suitcase and then this right here is like cinnamon stuff from Tatum this is his box it has like old road clothes in it like the cute little stuff here is just some more shoes this right here has all my swimsuits in them I went through them and actually found a lot of swimsuits that don't fit me I tried them all on so I have my swimsuits in this bin and then this right here is all my tennis shoes or my platform shoes like just like closed toed shoes are all right here and then my basketball shoes are in there so that is my official closet tour I'm pretty proud of how that came through like I'm really happy that I was able to organize that and have over a hundred stuff 
like I would I just can't believe that but basically in the second drawer I have some shirts in there I just filled up my shirts like this and then this third drawer is also the same thing those have like this the third drawer is full of long sleeves too but like my main t-shirts like that are churchy or like dress looking are hung up that was my official closet clean out if you are new here my name is Jordan and you should totally subscribe and I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching this is your sign to clean out your closet for summer and uh splurge on some new clothes sell your old clothes quit gatekeeping and get rid of your crap because the less space the better but that's it for today's video and i love you guys so much and thank you for coming back to watch me clean my room for the millionth time like i do in every video so love you guys <laughs> bye